What's happening, Fusion friends? Listen, I gotta ask you a question. Do you throw shad colored lures, white lures in lakes and ponds where there are no shad? It's a question I get all the time, and I wanted to do just that. This is actually kind of a, a side trip. Remember the video where I was out fishing the tube? Well, I was also testing this. This is one of the new Jackhammer Chatterbait colors, blueback herring. Now you can see it's mostly white, a little bit of green and blue on top there. I also threw on the Missile Baits uh, Hog Farmer Spunk Shad as a trailer. I think it's Green Pumpkin Delight. So it's got like a pearl belly, some chartreuse, a little bit of green pumpkin on the top. That's what I was testing out because there's no shad in this league. So let's see how it went. Nice. All right, there we go. One on the chatter bait. That's a solid fish. Looks like it could be a solid two pounder there. All right. The old chatterbug getting bit, huh? Boy, he hit it right as it was coming up in there. Gosh, and that thing is pinned. I mean, pinned in there. All right, there we go. Let's get a weight on him just to see what we're at. All right, first chatterbait fish goes. Almost two and a quarter, two pounds, three ounces on the chatterbait. We'll take him. Gotta cover some water, look at that. Getting chunky on the belly. Getting ready to do their spawn thing. I really wanted to try this color. This is the uh, blue back herring. I know a Philip Cheek, you'll like this, that I bought some of these. This is one of the new colors over at Tackle Warehouse with the Jackhammer, a little half ounce. And that's the Hog Farmer slash Missile Baits collab. Kind of a pearl into chartreuse and green pumpkin. I thought the look of this just kind of flows really well together. Kind of a shaddy, we don't have any blue back herring around here, but a shaddy bait fish look. I thought it I thought it looked pretty tasty. You thought it looked good. That's funny. How long did I fish the the tube there and nothing? Pulled the chatterbait through there a few times and gosh man he smoked that. Pulled that through a couple times. Another little pound and a half were on it. Beat up looking, starting to do their thing. Great little chatterbait fish. Oh, as soon as I hit that log. As soon as it hit the log. Boy, he is digging, digging, digging. As soon as I hit that log and come over it. All right. Another solid fish on the chatter. This is a little side quest. I come out to do the, uh, I guess I'll kind of explain at the end because you'll probably have already seen the other video. There we go. Let's see what he'd go. Chunky little dude. Survey says, oh, just at two pounds, one pound, 15 ounces. It's been a good fun little average. Bunch of two pounders, two and a half, almost a two and three quarter. Oh yeah, will shad color lures work in a lake with no shad? I think so. I think so. Lost my chatterbait on that log. Went to tie in a spinnerbait. My spinnerbait skirt broke off. So I put a paddle tail on it. Will they eat shad in a lake that has no shad? What about that guy? Fishing moving bait shallow around wood. Two pounds, 12 ounces, another one almost. Holy smokes. Moving baits. Do shad colors work in lakes that have no shad? Yes, we'll talk about this more at the end, but there's another chunk of, thank you. That's it. War Eagle spinner bait with one of my little white paddle tails on it. Looked like a little bait fish coming through there. I hit just above that wood and that fish dumped it. All right, fishing friends, that was the trip. So the question, do shad colored lures, white lures, work in places where there are no shad? Absolutely they do. I get asked this question a lot and I'm kind of surprised because I really feel like there's three main reasons they work. Number one is there's other forage besides shad that are white or that, you know, light whitish kind of color. You think of crappie, uh, white bass or, you know, hybrid striper type fish, uh, baby bass, baby bluegill will have that white kind of silvery color to them until they get a little bit older. They'll start to get those darker colors. There's a lot of stuff that this color can mimic, but white on the bottom, if 
you think of a, a fish looking up at white, there's a lot of things that are white. So absolutely, you don't have to have just shad. Um, a white lure can mimic a number of different things that bass eat. Number two, I think it's really a contrast deal. If you throw a, a white, let's say spinnerbait, something like this guy in dirty water, you've got flash, you've got a white target for it to zone in on. Um, it stands out really good in dirty water. Now, you can ask some people, what? when do you throw a white lure? They will say, well, if it's clear, clean water where it's good visibility, that's where I like it. Other people who throw a white spinnerbait all the time, they'll say, is the water wet? Then yes, it's a perfect time to throw white. So it doesn't really matter if it has white forage in there. You have to remember bass are predators. If it looks like some sort of little fish swimming by them, they're going to eat it. And that kind of rolls into my number three reason is reaction bite. Sometimes I really don't think lure colors matters as much as we think. We, we give fish a little bit too much credit because they're a predator. A lot of times they're just reacting to something coming by them. Even in this video, I had hit it on a piece of wood and popped over that wood. And as soon as it popped over that wood, it looked like something hitting it and kind of fluttering through there. Maybe they thought it was injured or whatever. They hit it. So bass are going to instinctually hit something. That's what they call that reaction strike. They see it. It's like, I always say, if I throw a ball at you, you're going to automatically put your hand up or you're going to flinch. You can't really help it. Kind of the same as a fish. If they see a good tasty little morsel, they got to grab it. So if you're fishing places that don't have shad, don't worry about it. I still think white is a great lure, regardless of whether or not you have shad specifically in there. It can mimic a bunch of stuff. Now, this was the combo I was throwing it on. If you watched my live a couple ago, this was the uh, rod that Thunderhawk sent me. Uh, this is the Tyco series, and this happens to be the Hawkeye model. So of course I'm throwing it. This is a seven, six foot, medium heavy, moderate fast rated for lures, one half up to an ounce and a half. I was throwing half ounce chatter baits and spinners on here. Um, I was throwing three eights on it. Loads just fine. It's a good rod. It's got a kind of a soft tip, but a really good backbone in it. And the extra length, I don't use a ton of longer rods, you know, usually seven, seven, two, stuff like that. But man, I like this. You've got a bunch of good leverage when you pull into that fish with a seven foot six rod. Um, as long as you can cast it from the bank, you're not around too much stuff or, or ceilings. The reel, this is the old Shimano Corrado K. Still a great reel, still throw it. Awesome one. They did come out with the uh, Corrado M. I can leave that linked at the end if you want to see a, a review of it, kind of a go over it, testing it out. Really like the Corrado M. Both of them are very similar. So if you have a Corrado K, do you necessarily have to go up to the Corrado M? I don't think so. It does have a different spool in it, a little bit easier to cast, but the Corrado K was still a great reel. And then for line, 15 pound P-line tactical fluorocarbon. I like fluorocarbon for most of my moving baits. You can use something else if you want, but uh, I prefer that. So that was the trip, that's the gear. Comment below and let me know if you're throwing white lures in places where, where there's no shad to be heard of. They work, I'm telling you they work. Give it a go if you don't. Uh, today's uh, subscribe fishing friend. Well, it's gotta be my guy, Philip Cheek. Um, he, we, we had a thing a while back, we did a giveaway of blueback herring, uh, and he bought a bunch of different blueback herring lures and sent to me for giveaways. So my brother, I know you will uh, appreciate this one. If you want one of these, hit me up. I got a few of them, I'll gladly send you one. But everybody else, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's It still blows me away every day when I see people still watching my videos. There's a thousand channels out there that you could watch, so watching mine uh, does still mean a lot. But I need to edit. Thanks for watching, and until next time.